okay, today we are going to look at animal nutrition. How food is being digested and then absorbed into uh, the body. When you talk about um, animal nutrition, you're saying that animals need to eat uh, to give them nutrients uh, that are used in the body to provide energy. Basically, when, when you eat, uh, when you talk about nutrition, you're talking about getting nutrients from outside the environment into our bodies. So animals need to eat. When they eat, uh, they obtain these nutrients. The nutrients provide the energy into uh, the body so that now the organisms can live. Uh, all the processes uh, which are happening in our body uh, require, uh, most of them require energy. And then this energy uh, can only be obtained from external uh, environment. That's why uh, we have what you call animal nutrition. We need to obtain this food from the external environment. So uh, um, the, uh, the reason why also animal nutrition is, is very important is to repair damaged tissue and regulate the body uh, processes. Uh, when you eat, you obtain these nutrients. These nutrients are going to help in uh, the process of uh, repairing the damaged the, uh, cells and then uh, the body processes can also take place. We have different categories of, of, of animals. Uh, it means that we have different modes in which these animals eat. We have the first category uh, as herbivores. Herbivores, they only eat uh, plants. Example of a herbivore is, is a cow. Two, we have uh, omnivores. Omnivores means that they can eat plants uh, material and animal material. Omnivore is uh, human beings are examples of omnivores. Pigs are examples of uh, omnivores because they can eat both uh, plant material and animal material. Then we have the last one, uh, which you call the carnivores. These ones, they feed on meat only. They feed on animal material. Uh, they don't feed on plants. So we have those ones which feed on plants strictly. And then we have uh, those ones which uh, feed on, 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 on animals, and then we have those which feed on both uh, plants and animals. So we have the herbivores, we have the omnivores, and then you have the, um, the carnivores. Uh, we saying that uh, if you look at their dental formula, uh, dental uh, shape, you'll find out that the, uh, the herbivores, they, they have uh, the teeth uh, down on the lower jaw, and the upper jaw, they don't have uh, teeth, and then they have uh, spaces here. So it means that they cannot um, tear the meat. That's why they can only feed on plants. If you look at omnivores, they have um, teeth which can help in both eating the plants and animals uh, material. Then carnivores, is, they have the teeth which can help them in, in tearing the meat. So if you look at these uh, canines, they can help the, the, the carnivores to tear the meat so that they can feed on them. So uh, if you just look at uh, their uh, arrangement of teeth, they, you can know that this is a herbivore, this is omnivore, and then this is uh, a carnivore. Then uh, if you go to um, these teeth, you'll find out that uh, the different shapes. Uh, we can see them here that they have a specific function that incisors, the first ones, they were the one which are in front, we call them incisors, very important for cutting the food. And then you have the canines, the, the sharp ones, yes, uh, very important in, in, in tearing. So sometimes when you want to tear meat, you try to uh, put the meat just in the position of the canine so that you can tear the meat. And then you have the premolars, very important in crushing. These are the premolars. And then uh, the molars, uh, these ones just have the large surface area so that there is um, a lot of food which can be crushed in a short period of time. So these two are the uh, premolars and then the, the three are the uh, molars. Last time I talked about that these teeth, you cannot just have them, all of them, no. It, it, you have a specific age which you have to reach at, um, then you can have uh, all the, the teeth in the mouth. Uh, the arrangement of the teeth will help in identifying which kind of uh, organism, uh, is, which kind of uh, food are you going to feed on. Uh, we are saying that um, human nutrition requires a digestive system. 
when you talk about um, human nutrition, it requires a digestive system. So, so that the food can travel in this digestive system, the important one is absorbed into the blood and then the, uh, the one which is not important, the, or the undigested one is then removed from uh, the body. So let's look at some of the definitions which you are going to find in the digestive system. Number one, we have the uh, digestion. Digestion is the process which involves the physical and the chemical. So it requires energy and then requires chemical to break down the complex molecules into um, uh, simplest uh, forms that can be uh, absorbed into the bloodstream. If you look at uh, uh, physical, if you use teeth, it requires energy for you to chew so that you can crush the big particles of food. And then these big particles, uh, because they have been broken down, then it means that the surface area has been increased. So if you increase the surface area when you try to cure, then it means that you are trying to increase the surface area so that these chemicals can act on this food and then break down these uh, complex molecules into simplest form so that um, uh, these forms can be absorbed into the bloodstream. And then now uh, respiration will take place and then we can obtain energy from the food we have obtained. So it requires a process uh, until uh, when energy is released. So there is, must be a process, but the first process is digestion. Then um, this digestion, uh, it has uh, five uh, uh, major steps of five uh, important uh, things which are needed or which you need to know about. Number one, we have what's called the ingestion, which means uh, taking in. When you take in food, when you have something and then you put it into the mouth, we call it ingestion. Then you have what's called the digestion. Uh, this is breaking down. So um, when you, 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 you take in food, then you break down the food into smaller particles. And then after breaking it down, the important ones are being absorbed into the bloodstream. And then the one which is not important is then taken away. Uh, it continues uh, with the digestive system. The one which has been absorbed is assimilated. Assimilation means that putting the, the food you have absorbed into use. So you assimilate it so that um, uh, the food you have eaten can maybe produce the energy. The food you have eaten, it, 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 the nutrients can be used in, in manufacturing uh, maybe proteins or structures of the body or uh, repairing the cells, which uh, the, the, the tissues uh, which have been uh, worn out, maybe damaged all those things. So that's what you call the assimilation, putting um, the, the nutrients we have obtained into use. And then you have what you call the ingestion. Ingestion is taking out um, the, the, the undigested material, taking out the undigested material. There's a difference between ingestion and excretion. When you're talking about excretion here, we are talking about only uh, nitrogenous, uh, removing the, uh, the, the nitrogenous wastes uh, from the body. So that is, um, or removing uh, the, 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 the waste product from, uh, from the blood. So that is uh, excretion. But when you talk about uh, ingestion is now talking about is related to digestive system. So um, going to the toilet and do the cackling is not uh, excretion, is called ingestion. So we call it um, uh, ingestion. So this process, uh, they must be in line. They must be in the, this sequence the way you see it from ingestion, taking in, digestion, breaking down, absorption, absorbing uh, what is important, and then assimilation using what you have absorbed, and then the one which is not absorbed is then ingested, meaning that is taken out of the, 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 the body. So those are the processes which you need to know uh, in the digestive system. So as I've said that digestion means uh, taking uh, in of food, and then digestion, breaking down food into smaller particles or small, uh, simplest form that can be absorbed into the bloodstream. It involves the physical digestion and the chemical digestion. We will see this uh, in detail. Then we have the absorption. Absorption is um, the products uh, of digestion are diffused into blood. So uh, meaning that um, uh, they are taken from the blood, from the digestive system to the blood. That's why sometimes when you are, uh, after, after eating, you feel weak. Why? Because now the food is being absorbed into the blood uh, stream. So when you absorb this uh, food into the bloodstream, you find out that uh, 
the 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 blood is drained from the brain then taken to the the digestive system or the stomach and then now the brain remains without enough uh, oxygen enough um, uh, food and then uh, what happens it makes you to be a little bit weaker so that's what happens because uh, absorption is taking place that's why we say that when you are eating eat after a certain time try to drink so that the food you have absorbed you have eaten can be absorbed uh, smoothly. So uh, basically, uh, that's it. And then you have what you call the ingestion. Ingestion is the removal of, of undigested uh, and unabsorbed waste from the body through the anus into uh, uh, in form of feces. Then it means that the feces uh, which you you ingest out or you, you you release from the body is as a result it has undigested the un undigested parts uh food which has not been absorbed so if you look at uh, some uh, animals it does not mean that uh the food which you take as uh, feces is 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 does not have any nutrients it has nutrients but uh, some of it because it is moving at a very fast rate then it means that it is not what is not uh, is not uh, digested so parts of the digestive system Thank you.